when they tried to take me to the jail and they do that thing where they check you, you know, the little frisking thing, they grabbed hold of my legs. And the problem was my legs were so bloody and so infected and I had such a high fever when I had 103 fever when they checked, when they uh, took your temperature there in intake, the jailer's like, no, she's got to go straight to the hospital. Like she has open wounds and sores and um, she's got to go straight to the hospital. So um, they took me straight to the hospital and the hospital looked at the detectives and he's like, I'm sorry, guys, she should have been in the hospital weeks ago. Like, and I tried to go to the hospital weeks ago, but I didn't have health insurance. So they kept saying, you can't afford the medication. And they sent me home twice. And so, um, yeah, so anyway, they said, we'll have to keep her here in the hospital. And so they left me in the hospital. And then I kept calling the next day, I kept calling the sheriffs and I'm like, where's my car? Where's my car? And they're like, your car's an impound. And I'm like, well, I'm coming to get it. <laughs> Again, I don't know. <laughs> so I said, well, I'm coming to get it. I mean, and who, who even does that? And so they said, okay, come and get it. I said, okay, I will. And so I kept signing out. I signed out AMA, but they kept, you know, I was in a lot of pain. Uh, they kept giving me painkillers and Dilaudid and it kept <laughs> knocking me out. And I know they were doing that on purpose, but finally I told them, no, you're not. I ripped the IV out and I'm like, no, you're not giving me any more shit. I'm leaving. And just as I'm going out the hospital, the police sergeant shows up or lieutenant, he was a lieutenant, he shows up and he's like, well, there's my little bank robber. And I'm like, shut up. He's like, have you not seen the five o'clock news, the 11 o'clock news, have you not seen it? And I was like, no, he goes, well, it's no secret. He goes, you wanna ride to your car? And I was like, the front or back? And he's like, the front. And I said, okay. So he puts me in his crown bank and he, we're riding you know, through the country, going back to the police station. And he's like, uh, tell me where my guys were after you robbed that bank. What were you doing? Where did you go? Cause no one could find you. I said, I actually was in the uh, Tasty Freeze drive-thru. <laughs> he said, what? And I said, yeah, he goes, that's what you did is you got a root beer flood. I said, well, I didn't do it on purpose, sir. You know, I, uh, I accidentally went through the drive-thru thinking I was going through the exit. So, you know, it was, you know, it's been really hot here. You ever see that, that te television show, The World's Dumbest Criminals? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not that you were not that you were dumb and did that on purpose, because there are some people who are actually like, well, let's go. Yeah. Well, let's go do this. You just got stuck there. Yeah, but it was it was a happy coincidence. But he's like, so you're kidding me. So you were getting a root beer flow. Well, my guys were at the scene of the crime. I said, well, yeah. And he said, and you drive a red car. I said, yeah. And he's like, man. And so he took me to get my vehicle. He said, I don't have your keys. I don't know who has your keys. Um, and he said, but you know, it, it, there's your car. And it was all torn apart, torn apart in the impound lot. And I said, well, I have a key hidden right here in the tire, tire well. I'll see you later. <laughs> so he told me, okay, it'll be a couple of days before the warrant drops. Now, don't go anywhere. Don't rob another. No, he said, don't rob another bank. I said, okay, sir, thank you. And this police lieutenant lets me go. What's his name? <laughs> Nichols. His name you was... know his name. Huh? What's his name? Nichols. What, you, you, Lieutenant Nichols. Yeah, from oh. Butte County, from, from, uh, I guess it was Oroville PD, Oroville Police Department. Yeah. He got in trouble. You know what? He was the nicest man ever too, but he got in, he got in trouble because he let someone else go. And that person was a violent, I guess he, he assaulted someone after that, but he, yeah, he was a super nice guy, but, but yeah. And he, and you think like he, if I was a person of color, you know, I wouldn't have never gone anywhere. I'd have been. I, I mean, listen, I, I, I I know. I, I'm, well, I'm, 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 I'm the I'm, luckiest of persons in the most unlucky situation. I'm, speech, I'm speechless. I'm, I'm Because the whole time you're telling the story, it's like he's taking you to get your car. He take you to get your car for what? I know. I know. It's, it's just so crazy. And so he lets me go. And so, you know, you let me go. I'm still addicted to heroin. I'm still, now I'm looking, I know what a prison sentence from those little shenanigans. 
I still have a horrible infection in my leg, which is I still have a high fever. Like, so basically, I, I mean, I was let go and it was my request, you know, to be able to walk out. And, and this guy, you know what I mean? And I'm in the same exact position that I was before the bank robbery. Only now I think I have the cell phone. I have the new cell phone. But, but yeah, like nothing has changed. Like, why would you let somebody go in that same condition? Because the chances of them committing the exact same crime again are really high.